I'm Pimple Pete. I'm gonna put me on palette pal pal and put in the, put everything in the in the in the in my palette of palettes. I want to stop everything, you know, that's happening. Uh, All right, here's the skinny. You're all gonna need some major firepower if you really plan to take on Garmantuous. What? More, more than we already have? Uh, our team is mostly guns. Trust me, we need this. Klug sent over the details on an extremely powerful Gatlian. Oh shit, another Gatlian! That's right. Supposedly he's in the possession of another G3 officer, a scientist named Dr. John Giblets. And guess what? I can't find shit on him. I don't even know where he is. Okay, so what do we do? We do it the old-fashioned way. And ask around. Maybe we find out his coordinates and warp him in. I'm sending you to Blim to gather intel. I don't know. I'm fucking tired, kid. Maybe you'll appreciate me more if you do my job. Okay, Gene, all right. We'll, we'll, we'll try to find him ourselves. All right. Skip the portal door and just head out into Blim. Oh, and before you go, you might need a little extra help. I went ahead and unlocked the new feature on your bounty suit. You're welcome. Bounty Hunter, it's me, Sudo, again. I'm still here. I've been here the whole time. Welcome to Detective Mode. I'm here to help you sleuth out all those really big, crazy mysteries. Suddenly? With the fucking Detective Mode? Well, why haven't we had access to this the whole time? All right, let's see. It looks like you're looking for a... Dr. John Giblets. Is that correct? Uh, yeah. Oh, fantastic. Let me do a quick search for you. This will solve it immediately, and... No matches found. Oh, <laughs> well, it's never that easy. Why don't you start by interrogating the locals? Okay, I figured it out. This thing's fucking useless. Thanks, Gene! Hey, uh, did, did you know anything about Dr. Giblets? What are you talking about? Hey there, it's me, Sudo. Looks like you're trying to interrogate a suspect. Let's ask them some questions. I'm really sorry. I don't know who that is. But, <laughs> good luck, I guess. Hope you find them. Do I look nervous? <laughs> oh, jeez, you're making me nervous with this interrogation. Am I... what? What is it with you and this Dr. Giblets guy? My name's Craig, and I'm really sick from eating a lot of sandwiches. Leave me alone. What? Why do you care? Well, if you must know, I ate 15 whole sandwiches. And yes, I regret it. I don't know why I ate that many. Woof, they didn't know anything. That was a real D-rank interrogation. Sorry. Oh well, maybe you could just find more people to interrogate. You'll get it next time. Hey, uh, hey tough guy, we're, we're looking for a Dr. Giblets. You got, you got any leads? Slick, what the fuck are you talking like that for? Oh, Jesus Christ, leave me alone. I don't know, and I don't give a shit, I'm busy. You need anything else or can I fucking go? Ooh, bummer, they were a tough cookie. But they were telling the truth according to my sensors, so let's say that was a C-rank interrogation. Better luck next time, let's look for somebody else. Hey, sorry, yeah, no, he can't talk, he just sort of makes that noise. Huh, that's, uh, that's unfortunate for him. Hey, I, I think we- Hey, listen, uh, if you find a drum anywhere, my buddy Globo here, you know, he'd really love one. He's great, he's a good drummer. And I think it would help him, you know, he's a good musician. I think it would, he, trust me, it'd be worth your time. Yeah, you know, uh, we'll, we'll keep an eye out for you. Uh, hey, uh, do, do you mind if we have a moment of your time? Oh, uh, sure. Uh, what's this about, can I ask? Shh, hey, quiet. Don't say his name so loud. I can't help you, but Blordo can. Mention my name, Michael Taint. Then he'll talk. But no cracks about my name. I mean, I like having sex with Mike most times, but... Well, sure. Yeah, I don't really have any moral issue with accepting a bribe. It sounds like a win-win, actually. I get money, you get info. But uh, come to think of it, the G3 will kill me, so uh, how about no? Holy shit, wow, you, we actually got something we can use. Okay, woo -hoo. that was an A-rank interrogation. Good for you. Let's head over to Blurdo and mention Michael Taint. Hey, what's up, Blurdo? You know anything about a, a, a where we could find a guy named Jib, Dr. Giblets? Whoa, 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 where'd you hear that name? You can't just go asking around town for a guy like that. 
What? Why? What, what, what's wrong with asking about Dr. Giblets? I don't know. Why do you think I know anything about Dr. Giblets? I don't know nothing. Now buy something or beat it, buster. Excellent. Did Blordo seem a little dodgy to you? I swear I feel like he's hiding something. That's right, yeah. Let's come back when we know a little more and see if we can push this guy over the edge. Next time, uh, look at me. Okay, okay. That, that last one was a TV show, but this time I'm really just a guy. I'm just a guy saying hi. Look, I said I don't know nothing about Dr. Giblets, so leave me alone! Unless you want to buy something, that's different. You can still buy stuff from me, that's totally fine. Ah, oh, that piece of shit! I'm gonna kill him! Look, if you're really looking for trouble, maybe check out the new High on Life store in the slums. The Hyperbong 6 Midnight Launch is tonight, but you should be able to get in by now. Just don't mention my name. I didn't say nothing. Now get out of here! If anyone sees me talking to you, I'm dead! Thanks, Blordo. We, we had a good feeling you were a true pal. Whoa! Great sleuthing, detectives! That was an S-rank interrogation! I, I already said it, but I mean, I said it meant it this time. Back to hurt my feelings again? Leave them alone! Hey, what's up, best friend? Don't wait in that crowd full of nerd! You... Okay, so we're looking for this new high on life oh, store? Yeah, hey, Hopefully hey, the yeah. slums are a little uh, more chill now that we took out Nine Torg. Nobody wants to hey, talk to the broken guy. we heard you were asking it. around for giblets. Well, the Torgs are with the G3 now. Oh, you're back. It's best not to Do you need somebody to go with you? Wait. Oh, shit! It's you! The bounty hunter's back! Oh, fucking oh, goddammit! No, 
Look, the slums have always been a mess, but I, I don't like what they're doing over here to this place. It's, it just feels weird. I'm ready for a glob shot. Woo! This is prepped. Just killing some of the main henchmen of the game. Oh, guess what? There's more guys coming. Is somebody fucking sniping at us? Wake up now. store okay, okay. Well, look at us just jetpacking around like a couple of fucking Stay goddamn detective heroes cut lines the rules do not apply to the law oh, thank god they opened this new high on life store i've been counting down the days i'm a big hyperbong fan i love buying hyperbongs i've got 20 of them already and i'm gonna buy 20 more trust me I need the new Hyperbong. You don't understand. This isn't like a consumer loyalty thing. It's more like uh, I'm addicted to drugs. Oh, I just hope they don't make me buy a new adapter. Seven nine two three, your local Hyperbong Superstore. Please, no trampling of other patrons during the midnight launch. Well, well, well. I smell another mystery. I'm Pseudo, by the way. You know me. Uh, yeah, we're, we're still tracking down giblets. Yeah, you already know what I'm gonna say. Try interrogating all the employees here. Yeah, no shit. That's what, that's what the fuck we're gonna do. Uh, uh, uh hello, hello, and welcome to High on Life. I'm Barrick. Uh, I can be a personal uh, high on life uh, prof professional today. Um, do, do, that makes sense, right? That, does that sound okay? I'm I'm new here. Hey, hey, it's my first day. Uh, can you do me a favor and not mention Dr. Giblets around here? They told us not to talk about him. Wow, nice kid, but not helpful at all. You get a big fat D ranking. Holy shit, this is a madhouse. 
Oh, 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 sorry. Hi. Thanks for shopping at High on Life. I'm the manager here. Are, are you finding everything okay? Oh, man, this again. Look, man, I just work here. I don't know anything about the store or who built it. Or I'm, I'm kind of a fuck-up. I lied on my resume. I got this manager gig. I never even met Dr. Giblets. I, I don't know what he looks like. I couldn't even point him out in the crowd. But, but you know about him. Yeah, yeah, sure I do. He owns this place. He never comes around, though. I don't really know where he is. Whoa! Hold your horses, Hotshot! Make sure you ask him all the questions you can think of before walking away. What? I told you! I have no idea where he is! And you're being really aggressive! Leave me alone! It's super fucking busy right now, and you're distracting the hell out of me! Okay, shit! Not, not so good! It looks like we've uh, hit, a, hit a dead end, so let's get the fuck out of here and... Just give up on being detectives. Nice day for a shopping trip, ain't it? It sure is. I know I'd go shopping on a day like this. Except this wannabe bounty hunter doesn't seem to be shopping. That's right. Seems like they're poking their beak where I don't belong. Be a shame if something happened to your beak as a result if you catch our drift. More of this shit? Are you fucking kidding me? More? More of this? Why is everybody on our case today? Please, just fuck off! You got a fresh mouth on you, kid. Be a shame if something happened to that mouth as a result. Part of my associate here, yeah? he's only got one good threat, but I assure you, he can back it up. That's right. A word to the wise. Stay out of this, got it? We've got this covered. What the hell was that? Please touch me again, I need it. Holy shit, what, what the fuck? Was this guy trampled to death? Uh, yeah. My friend Davy Glutes got trampled in the rush. Pretty sad, right? One moment he was there, next he's gone. Squashed. I know you're thinking it, so I'm just gonna say it. We gotta loot that dead guy's corpse, get his bag boots, and climb out of here. That's fine. He's trying to strike those mag boots. Why are you looking at me like that, bounty hunter? He's dead. He's not using them anymore. Hey, sick moves. You make a good use of those mag boots. You can those things way better than David Luke does. He's not with you. Any reason you're not using my time bubbles?
don't forget to use my glove shot, you know? Cause I sure am. Oh. Hello there. You guys again? No worry, they're cool. We've been observing you. Hope that don't rustle your jimmies none. Because newsflash buckos, we're on your side. We'd like to formally apologize for how we treated you earlier. We didn't realize who we were dealing with. You'll have to forgive us. And we're sorry we still sound like we're intimidating you. It's the only way we know how to talk. Our wives hate us. We represent Magistrate Clug Nugman. Maybe you've heard of him. He's certainly heard of you. Here's the skinny slim, the Torg family, or what's left of it anyway. They got mixed up with a bad crowd, the G3 cartel, or more specifically, Dr. John Giblet's PhD. And Clug wants it squashed, pronto. He says you're the right bounty hunter for the job. Says you're already helping him. Says the G3 is our common enemy. We've got a lead on Dr. Giblet's. He's been whooping all over, leaving behind a nice little warp trail for us. We're thinking you can follow those breadcrumbs all the way to the gingerbread house. That way Clug don't have to get his cute little hands dirty. You dig? This kid's fast. Yeah, check out Dale Earnhardt Jr. over here. Let's say somebody dies. Maybe, hypothetically, their name is Dr. Giblets. Well, should anything like that happen, we had nothing to do with it. We didn't even mention it. This conversation never happened. And Clug will be very grateful. Speaking of which, why don't you follow us? Clug wants to speak in person. Huh, all right, let's, let's go talk to Clug. Oh, welcome back. Thank you so much for all your help. Yeah, they've been aces. Yeah, real pros. Hey, Clug. Sorry about those two. They can be a bit intense. Really, I don't know why they talk like that. But look, you've seriously done so much for me. I hate to ask for anything else, but this election is really close. And, well, keeping the G3 out of Blim, it's really going to help me lock this in. Do you think you could, you know, deal with... Dr. Giblets? Well, yeah, no, I mean, we, we that's what we want to do, you know, but it's uh, just the trail went dead. A dead end? Oh, no, we can't have that. Let me just leave this map data right here on my desk. Not sure what might be on it. Oh, that's how we get to Dr. Giblets? Whoa, whoa, even if this map data did take you to Dr. Giblets, we're not 100% sure it would be his actual base. You'll still need to do some detective work. Fuck yeah. All right, then we just kick the door down, burst our way in there, find him, grab him by the neck. Hey, 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 I can't officially tell you to do that. Not if I want to win this next election, at least. <laughs> Good luck out there, bounty hunter. Uh, we will do our best. What are you doing? Find us that fucking Dr. Giblets piece of shit. Make like a tree and leaf. A leaf. Make like a, you know. Thanks for helping our dad. We love our dad, Clug. They're my kids, yeah. Forgot to mention that. <laughs> Good boys, too. I'd like to put my feet on that desk. Not yet, but... Oh. Magistrate Clug came through. He pointed us right to Dr. Giblets. That's great. 
I kind of regret not voting for him. So now get out there and kill giblets. Jinko tweet. You're doing. Hello, I'm Darren Mindbanger. Everyone, gather around. I'm about to do a really crazy trick. What? Darren Mindbanger. Everyone, gather around. I'm about to do a really crazy trick. What? Hello there, human fans, and welcome to Human TV. I'm your horrifying host, Humandor, the human. What's that? Uh-huh. You don't know what humans are? Why, they're the most recently discovered new alien species. They're very weird little creatures. They do scary things, like go to the mall, breathe through their mouths, and on top of it all, they only see in specified rooms. And yes, they've been... Looks like things have developed in a sort of weird way over here. Welcome to Highway Village. Our currency here is tires, and we sacrifice our... Oh, I'm so sorry, I'll let you go.
dying. I'm dying. Uh, oh, thank God. Thank God someone's here. I, I'm, I'm, I'm losing consciousness. Oh, oh. oh my God. What, what, what happened? A G3 base warped right through here. Right, 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 right where I was. And, uh, well, well it shot me uh, right in half. I got cut in half. A, G a G3 base? Oh, my God. It was probably Dr. Giblets. Oh, God. Oh, God, I'm fading fast. Please, please, please just stay with me while I die. I, I, I don't want to be alone. I don't want to be alone. Okay, hang in there. Hang in there. We'll, we'll stay with you as long as it takes. No, no. It, it's my time to go. Oh, thank you for for staying with me as I die. Oh, just, just don't leave. Okay. You had to do it. You, you had to put him out of his misery. It was like a really annoying horse with a broken leg. You, you know? It, it, do you understand? Is there an equivalent to broken leg? You, you following here? Okay, so is this Dr. Giblets' base? Where, where the hell is he? Oh, I'm sure we'll be able to find Dr. Giblets with just a little bit of detective work. Let's look around for clues. Jesus Christ. Okay, okay, fine. Oh, that's a lot of dead bodies. What do you think happened in here? Whatever it was, it's not a good situation. Someone was killing G3 mercs. You know what? That makes sense. Everyone hates the G3. I bet people try to kill them all the time. I mean, look at you. That's what you're doing. Hmm, a destroyed drone. Looks like it was deployed for combat. Nothing fishy there, that's what they're used for, that's what drones are for, they're for combat, that's not weird to see a destroyed drone. Looks like your typical work desk, nothing too crazy, uh, uh, you know, best I can guess is someone interrupted Dr. Giblets while he was doing experiments, I don't know, I'm just throwing stuff at the wall here. Okay, yeah, I think I'm getting a sense of what happened here. Someone beat us to the punch, they attacked Dr. Giblets and all his men. Oh, we need more information. Let me hack the door so we can go deeper and look for more clues. All right then, let's let's keep moving. Howdy there, cowboys. Uh, oh shit, sorry, wrong bit, wrong bit. I mean, howdy there, detectives. Ooh, this looks like the lab where Dr. Giblets did his experiments. There's gotta be something helpful in here. Let's get to scanning. We got this, pseudo- oh, Was he doing experiments on his own henchmen? Jesus Christ, that's fucked up, right? Yeah, that's fucked up. I know it's fucked up. I don't know why I asked. I knew it was fucked up. Dr. Giblets must have been losing his... Whew, look at all these drone heads. Dr. Giblets was an expert at creating cybernetic organisms. But we already knew that. You know, I don't think this is a very helpful clue. I do think it's neat, though. It's cool to look at fucked up... These must be old hyperbomb prototypes. Way jankier than the ones they're selling at the High on Life store. Well, you know, we just pointed these out. Now we can move on to the next thing. All right, here's my new theory. Dr. Giblets was even more twisted than we could ever imagine. He was torturing his own henchmen. He wasn't right in the head. Although I guess that's what Douglas did too, so maybe that's normal for the G3. Maybe he was normal. No way to know unless we go deeper. I'm hacking the next door. I got no fucking idea what this room is, but I'm sure there's more clues in here, so go go find more clues, baby. Are these second place trophies? They're trophies for, for what? Science? Just science in general? Do they really get Oh boy, did Dr. Giblets write this? He was really paranoid, huh? He really thought people were- Oh shit, that's a g Gatlian. A regular old Gatlian doesn't look like it's in good health at all. Probably should just let it be, honestly. Aha, so that's our murder weapon. Dr. Giblets must have used that modified Gatlian to attack his men. It's pretty powerful, did a lot of did a lot of damage. It'd be great if we could somehow get that Gatlian for ourselves. You think that's gonna happen? Uh, who knows, let's find out. Okay, I think we finally cracked this case. Dr. Giblets really did go insane. He was paranoid that someone was after him, so he killed his own men. While you were wasting time doing detective work, I was busy scanning the area for Dr. Giblets and decrypting the password on his security systems. Now you can just follow the waypoint right to him. Wait, so we didn't have to find any of those clues? Yep, sorry. I just love detective mode so much I didn't want you to stop using it. Now go kill Dr. Giblets. 
Giblets. Uh, that was very anticlimactic, but I'm not, I'm not, I'm not complaining. Jesus Christ, that was the easiest one yet. All right, let me add it. Doctor Giblet's status report: No life signs detected. Entering full security lockdown. Uh -oh. Hello. If you're hearing this pre-recorded message. It means you've successfully managed to murder one of the greatest minds in all of super science. Congratulations, you killed me. But I knew this day would come and I was prepared for this moment. Now see if you can survive my retribution from beyond the grave. I should have fucking known it wouldn't have been so easy. It's not everyone called me crazy. But look at me now. I'm dead and you're trapped in here. Fall this prey to my good Universe a 
favor. Douglas, I remember that party where you've been naked and experimented with the Scramble Brothers. It was really hot. I even took that. That's not Jesus! As I continue to study these humans, I find them to be more complex than I ever could have expected. Initially, I saw great potential in both the Fergals and the Gatlians, but now, I see how foolish I was. Those were nothing but dead ends. 
Humans, however, humans are going to change everything. God damn, what the fuck was the G3 doing with this guy? Oh, uh, is he even alive? You know what? Let's take him back to Gene. Gene knows. He can fix, get him all fixed up. I just wanted to say, you know, that today really meant a lot to me. And, um, uh, God, uh, this is so fucking hard. Um, your free trial of detective mode is up. So see you later. Bye. Oh, thank God. Okay, Bounty Hunter, you go through the menus. You find that detective mode. You shut it the fuck off. Never again. Okay, I'm serious. Oh, look at that. You found Dr. Giblets all by yourself. See? It's not so easy figuring out where these bozos are. How'd it go? Come on over, let's bow wow. The hill to fetch a pail of water. Gary fell in love. Okay, uh, so we did find Dr. Giblets. Um, he is dead, but we also found another Gatlian. Oh, shit. That's great. I, 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 I don't know about that. I mean, he, he's, he's not really functional. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think he's dead, but... Oh, God damn. Yeah, he's busted up real bad. What were they doing to him? Do you, do you think he's salvageable? Buddy, I'm not gonna promise you I can save him. That would be irresponsible of me. You would be careless to toy with your emotions like that. But yes, I can definitely fix him. Okay, th thanks, Gene. But you know, if, if he can't be saved, it, it wouldn't be, uh... What was that? Uh, nothing. I, 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 I was being shitty. You, you, you didn't hear me. You, I don't want you to hear me being shitty. Yeah, okay. Weird thing to say, but whatever. Sorry to change the subject, but, uh... Turn in your bounty real quick. I've got some good news and some bad news. Okay, come on over.